Hi, this is Fred Meyer with WP Shout, and today I'm going to show you how to create medium-like layouts um, in WordPress using the Beaver Builder page builder plugin. So Medium is um, a really good content platform that does something very cool with how they lay out text and images. Uh, the text occupies this central column, and it's relatively narrow. It's about seven or 800 pixels wide. And it's very readable because the combination of this text size and this um, column width means that the lines aren't, aren't too many characters at once, so you, so you can really read it. It's very, very easy to read. Um, and then a lot of the time as you're reading Medium, you'll get like this sort of breakout image that goes well outside the boundary of the text column. And so on a large laptop like mine, you get this very readable text and then you get an image that you can really see at a glance. So I'm going to show us how to do that. And then I'm also going to um, show you how in Beaver Builder you can create like a giant hero image like this um, that goes all the way to the edge of the viewport. Um, which you'll see a lot in Medium as well. So I'm going to show you narrow, readable text columns, wide images, and then uh, full width, full width um, hero image like this. So I've got Beaver Builder running, and the theme I'm using is called Understrap. Um, it's a very simple starter theme that I like a lot. Um, one reason I like it is because it's got not only this full width template, which I'll show you, just looks like this. And the thing about a full width template is it's good, but you basically only get right the size of whatever the default um, content width is, which is probably about 1100 pixels here. Um, so if you want to do this kind of thing, like I uh, am going to show us, you want something like um, an empty page template, which as uh, which Understrap just ships with, or which you can make yourself if you know how to do page templates in WordPress. So an empty page template is kind of different from a full width page template because it goes all the way out to the edge. So all of this area uh, I get to work with. So that's a really cool thing about Understrap. I know Beaver Builder has a theme as well if you have one of their more expensive um, plans, and I haven't tried that out myself, but presumably they have something like this as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is, uh, you know, a narrow text column. So the big thing we're going to be doing here is we're going to be making a row for each different width we want. So I just created a row. It's a one column row. We're going to go into the row settings here, and it doesn't really matter if we make the row fixed or full width, so I'll go ahead and make it full width. And the content width is going to be fixed, and we're going to fix it to a maximum of, let's say, maybe 720 pixels. And that gives us this nice, easily editable text area where we can just, you know, uh, drop some text in. So I'll just get some sample text to show you. And yeah, so we've got readable text in the central column. Now let's say we want to add uh, an image that's significantly wider than this than the central text column. Well, I'll show you what won't work first, which is to go into the text thing itself and do like an add media maybe at the bottom and try to add an image in there because it doesn't matter how big an image size we choose, um, it's still going to be constrained by the size of the, of the text uh, module that it's within. So that's not going to work, but I will show you what does work which is we're going to create a new row and this row we're going to let I, I seem to kind of like to make all of my rows full width I'm sure there's a good reason to have a fixed width row but I'm not sure but the content we can make whatever width we want so yeah 1100 looks good so now I've got an 1100 pixel row and I can go ahead and just add an image to that and we'll find a photo. This looks good. Now one thing to be careful about is this image is huge, 3000 by 2000. So I just want to make sure they're not going to be using the full size. Yeah, so you got to be careful about this or uh, your site's going to get very slow. So if this was a real site, I would register an image size somewhere between large and full because I do believe Beaver Builder will actually show the full size image. I, I don't think it does. Um, I don't think it does source set. Um, so we're going to use full size here, but um, 
just be conscious of the of the image sizes you're using so that you don't you know have six or seven megabyte files um, loading onto your page. Anyway, that's how you do it. So you just have a um, a row where maybe the row is full width, but the content width is fixed to a different size than the size of your of your text. Um, yeah, and so here I'll just go ahead and maybe duplicate this row just to kind of complete the effect and well, we'll uh, drag it if we can. Uh, I must have, yeah, oh, wrong, wrong thing. Okay, okay, so this is what drags, this is the settings. So uh, yeah, we'll just drag it down below here and maybe we'll get rid of a little bit of padding on the top here so that the image kind of flows with the text and maybe I'll Oh, I'll get rid of some padding above this row as well. And yeah, you can see we have like the basics of that medium effect where um, both text and images are um, really a good size. And um, uh, it's fully mobile responsive. You don't have to kind of worry about the way it resizes. So sorry, I'm gonna show you the, all the million other Chrome tabs I have open. So, and all the things I like to watch on YouTube. Uh, so, yep, that's that. But look, it's obviously mobile responsive. And uh, yeah, so that works fine. Then the last thing I'm going to show you is um, uh, I'm going to show you how to do one of these giant sort of hero images. And for this, you need um, a page template like the empty page template or whatever Beaver Builders version of that is that goes all the way to the edge of the viewport. Uh, which most page templates are not going to do. But again, if you know how to create page templates or if you're using the right kind of theme, you can do this. So I'm just going to maybe create a new row. I'll see if I can drag drag it above the existing row. And settings-wise, we want this row to be full width. And I guess we'll go ahead and fix the content again. And maybe we'll, we'll say 720 once more. And I'm just going to... Um, Let's see, do we want it to have text? Sure, we'll just say everyone has a voice, and, but we'll do that as text. So I'm gonna add a text uh, module in here. Um, we'll say everyone has a voice, which is not exactly true, but um, okay. All right, and then we will, um, for example, I lost my voice a few months ago. Um, I had strep throat, so um, most people have a voice most of the time, but that doesn't sound as good. All right, um, okay. So, and then we're gonna set a background here, and that's gonna be a photo. And once again, you kind of have to be careful about image size here, because this is a giant, giant, giant image. Um, we unfortunately don't have like a better size, so we're just gonna, for this demo, use full size, but, but recognize that you know, you don't want to use huge, huge images like this. Um, and uh, I'll go ahead and turn this white just for, just for the visual. And I will also give this a fair amount of padding so it's not uh, too crazy uh, narrow. But yeah, this could be a, a nice, um, could be a nice banner. Uh, you could put a button below this and make it a call to action or whatever, or you can even sort of drag it into your text content if you want. It's just a, it's just a, um, a full width, um, yeah, just a full width, full width row, full width element that you can work with. So you have access to all kinds of different elements, and it's it's all mobile responsive, and yeah, you can basically do just about every layout that Medium makes possible, um, right in WordPress with Beaver Builder. Okay, thanks for watching.